Excuse me, just want to ask you something really I'm quick. I'm busy. Ah. That failed because you gave, you made it too easy for her to just walk past you and brush you off too close to the side. It means that she will likely do that as a reflex like 90% of the time. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you used to go to this college over here? I'm sure um, I recognise you. Yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, I was sure. Was it, what was it, drama class? I did take drama. I don't remember you. I knew it. I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> How long ago? Hmm, what was it? I don't know, six years or something, right? Hmm, not for me, but it's cool we had both took drama. This is okay. Um, you can say things like, you know, you're from my yoga class, you're from my college. Might be okay, not bad. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds. Almonds? Yeah. That's their favorite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yeah. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But. Buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Do you live local around here somewhere? Yeah. That's nice. And do you spend a lot of time in this area? Um, I do, yeah. There's a nice coffee shop just down there. Have you been there? I have, um, but I'm going to meet a friend actually, so I need to go. Okay, what's her name? Is it a he or a she? Actually. In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. You want to make statements and do most of the talking yourself. Yeah, I was just walking, there's a nice park down there, and then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes, and that's why when I saw you, and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, all but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the the suit on okay. and sitting really up up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I'll, I will change. I'll okay. Change, yeah. And tell me what you do because you you look a bit artistic. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit non charity, yeah. Ah, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but... Okay. No, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on, uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Because yeah. IT can be creative too, so... Sure, yeah. yeah. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but in this case, you want to make a guess, make an assumption. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, well, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Okay, listen, like I said, I'm meeting those friends, but mm. why don't you give me your number and we can um, keep in touch, maybe yeah, meet sometime. Yeah, sure, sure. There you go. Cool, nice <laughs> one. Have fun. You too, <laughs> see ya. Well done, you got a fake number. Mm, not good enough. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something. And a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that, that sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, yeah. Racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know. I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's um, it's like when you're you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back, and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. Kind of dangerous, but fun. No, oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and... can smash each other with with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work in, there's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day. And um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If, it's, if you do like your job, even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So do you always stop girls in the street?
No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Listen, I've got a few minutes right now, so do you want to just grab a coffee? What do you say? Yeah, okay. Great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. The very best result in the daytime is to go for the instant date, so that's correct. Well done. Uh, if you just leave and get the number, you know, that's okay, but it's much better if you can say, listen, I've got time now, why don't we do something quickly? Notice that it's just a quick thing, so it's quite easy to say yes to. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. This is okay. Um, you can say things like, you know, you're from... Oh, 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 it's you from school. How are you? Oh, what's your name again? Uh, Rebecca? No. Michelle? No. Uh, what was it? Remind me, remind me. Who's it? I don't know. No, we went to school I together, don't, don't worry. I don't remember Yeah, you were that girl in class, you were like sitting in the back throwing things and stuff. I was not yeah, doing that. Yeah, it was definitely you. What, no. What's your name again? Anastasia. That's it, I knew really? it. Really? Yeah, What is yeah. your name? Richard. You remember me? Anyway, it's cool. We went to school together. So <laughs> really? That's the nice thing. Are you going to introduce that's me to your friends? a little bit creep, you know? Creepy? Yeah, because you're sitting, coming up here, sitting yeah. next to us and saying, oh, so telling us we babe, went to school together. Babe, we went to school for years together. So it's Hard, like call me already... babe, all right? So well, I don't really know you, you look know? Class, Do you know mate. this guy? Look class, mate. You know, we went to school for you know, years. Please. Stop, stop being creepy. And please Are we leave us. the school with us as well? No, I think no. you were. No, right? no, no. Just yeah, we're kind of in the middle of conversation. You know? Well, now I'm in the middle of you. No, I don't think so. Um, you're not very friendly, are you? No. It's kind of rude, isn't it? I'm just being Maybe. sociable. All right. I won't see you at the school reunion. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen him anywhere? Yeah. No, I don't know. It's such an old line, you know? That's so boring. You know? Such a creep. We should get out of here, I don't know. I don't like this place. Yeah, we should go. Too. You know how in court the lawyer never asks a question or says something that might lead somewhere that he's not prepared for? Well, it's the same like this. When you're giving her an opportunity to say no and dismiss you, it's usually a bad thing, so bad choice. Maybe we should go for a hey girls, place. Yeah, sorry, please. excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh, yes, okay. okay, good. Right, mm. what it is, is um, tomorrow's my best friend's birthday uh -huh. and she's a girl and she looks kind of similar to you, you know, kind of stylish and stuff. And I want it, she loves fashion. So I want to get her okay. something, you know, like something to do, like jewelry or clothes, stuff. You, you know. want to buy her a present? Yeah, yeah I want okay. to get her a present. She's just, she's just a friend, yeah. but I want to get her something really cool. She's a good friend. What do you think? Um, maybe you can give her a coupon, like a gift card to mm -hmm. the, some store. I don't like know. Zara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Zara, I don't right? know. Depends on what she likes. 
Yeah, she likes clothes and stuff. Yeah, so maybe the gift card would work for her. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good choice. Oh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. No problem. I think she'll like that, yeah. So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Nice to oh, meet that's you. a nice name. I am. Oh, thank you. That's a good name, too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a, like old English name from oh, yeah? kings and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's correct, because, you know, I've trained guys all over the world and I see them getting into these kind of present openers, opinion openers, and staying on that subject for five minutes until it dies out and then they have to get out, out of there. So it's very important to transition quickly and a nice way to do it is just to introduce yourself and get their names. So how do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like well, university. When you were, ah, university. Yeah, college. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, no, no. No. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, so you were in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, I always studied different classes. Okay, let me guess. So mm -hmm. I think that you studied fashion <laughs> and I think you studied drama. Is that exactly right? No, no. opposite. The opposite? <laughs> so oh, you opposite. studied fashion and she studied <laughs> drama. No, no. I studied economics. Uh -huh. Yeah, study business. Okay. Yeah, so it no, has nothing, nothing to do with drama and fashion. Not really. Not really. Oh, that's interesting, actually. So, yeah. what did you do in your course? Like, what kind of case studies did you have about business? Uh, it included everything, like how to s start your own business mm -hmm. and stuff. Everything. Like entrepreneurship, yeah, leadership, yeah, yeah. and all of that. Everything. What was your favorite module? Hmm. I actually don't like say statistics. to study. No. I hate no. statistics. <laughs> I don't like it either. I like to count. Yeah. Yeah. You had counting as a module. <laughs> That's kind of basic, no? I know, but I didn't say I took it like as a major. Ah, accounting? Yeah, account or just... accounting. Ah, yeah, accounting. accounting, not just yeah, counting. Because yeah, 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 yeah. counting is like for babies. And then no, accounting. accounting yeah. is, yeah. It includes business as well. Yeah. All right, that's cool. And um, what did you account? I mean, you, count, you counted as well? Yeah? Uh, just a little bit, mm -hmm. yeah. And how about marketing? Uh, yeah, I took it as well. Yeah? How was that? It was alright, but I would. I wish I would have more practice in yeah. that sphere. Well, we could practice marketing sometime. <laughs> we could sit uh, around and we say, okay, let's imagine a company. What does it make? It makes uh, tables. What what could they listen, be called? Um, Table in Do you mind if I just keep talking to my friend? We haven't seen for a while. No, no. And I just sit here and you carry on. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I'd prefer you leave. Well, look, um, I understand you want to talk to her now, so I'll let you get back to it, but why don't you give me your number and then if... No, wait, look, if, for example, she gets in a horrible accident or if she just leaves <laughs> oh, the country, you. then That's um, you're welcome. That's so rude. Why? It sometimes happens. It's uh, very dangerous no, these days. No, I'm not going to give you my phone. Sorry. No. I don't want your phone. I want your number. Uh, no, no, my number. No, my phone number. I mean. Email, no, Facebook. No, thank you. Skype. No, we even use Skype nowadays. Anastasia four nine six. No. Anastasia. No, no. Nineteen oh, okay. Eighty-eight. No. Anastasia two thousand and one. What's wrong with you? I just told you no. No. How many no's you should receive? Okay, wait. Let me get this straight. No talk now. No talk no on talk Skype. Ever. No talk ever, on Facebook. Ever. No chat. Snapchat. No talk ever, ever with you. 
Oh, can you leave us, please? I can, but I won't. No, no, I shall. All right. Um, no, I respect that. You girls have yeah. uh, fun talking yeah, about we will interesting have fun. things. Yeah. yeah. I'm going. Be sure. <laughs> boring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here you've given too much attention to the girl that you're interested in, kind of ignored the friends, leaving her to get bored. Plus, you're asking a bunch of boring questions. Both wrong. Don't do it. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do in here. Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't think so. I think, I think they study Instagram. <laughs> oh, right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, did you do well at university? You got good grades? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Well done. <laughs> You'll notice that in the interactions, we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done, making the girl feel good with things that are teasy or challenging. And in this case, it's something that they've worked hard on. It's an achievement. So why not say well done, you know, and give them some validation there for that. So how long have you guys known each other? For so long. Yeah, 40, 42 years. years? No, no, no. <laughs> Seven years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. you look very young. Oh, thank joking. you. <laughs> Relief. And you know what? I would guess that she's like the crazy one, yeah? And I think you're the sensible one. So she's getting drunk and you're like, look, chill, come on, let me get you home. Is that right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Depends, yeah. You know, it depends. Don't be shy. <laughs> she can go crazy. And she's the shy one as well. That's cool. Yeah, she is. <laughs> a little bit. Nice. And who's the one who, like, um, who gives good advice out of you two? Who's the one who has problems and then who's the one that gives advice? Uh, we're girls, we always have problems. Of course, yeah. <laughs> we're both, like, I think she's more... Yeah? Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would say we're equal, kind of. Mm-hmm. And have you two ever done the best friends test? Have you done it? Um, no. no. All right, let's do it right now. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, you don't even need to tell me. You've already passed the best friends test because best friends, they communicate unconsciously. So when you ask people, oh. yeah. <laughs> If people are very good, you just did it again. <laughs> so if people are really good friends, they always kind of look and then, you know, give the answer if someone okay. asks them something. And yes. if you weren't good friends, you just answer directly. But it's like you're communicating something. Yeah, there you go. There you go again. Because just by the, way, the look in the eyes, you communicate so much when you know I each really other very well. I've never paid attention on this. Yeah, pay attention. Oh, yeah. It's definitely true. Maybe I would do this kind of thing. Yeah, try it. <laughs> mm. There you go again. Yeah. <laughs> stop counting. All right, I'll stop. This will work. It's a you know, famous PUA routine. If you learn it, it's something you can go out and use in the bars and clubs. I've seen it work all over the world. And so you can do it. It's just a routine. So it's a bit, you know, it's a bit lame um, in some ways to have something prepared. But if you want to guarantee having conversations with girls, then learning a few of these things is a nice way to get your social skills up and get comfortable talking to beautiful women because they are very engaging. So what were you doing before you came here? We went for dinner. Ah, uh, dinner, nice. Where'd you go? Italian? Or... <laughs> no. We had some fast food. Yeah, like burgers and fries. You know what, I do find that a little incongruent. You know, you girls mm -hmm. in your nice dresses, looking all fancy, and then you're just like, oh, 
eating burgers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it feels a little bit weird, but... It's okay once in a while though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is perfect, you know, it's something that is very safe to tease about. It's not their, you know, their favourite thing in life. It's something that they know they shouldn't do. So it's a nice thing to tease a girl about. Perfect, because it's a tough balance, right? Because you like one of the girls, but you don't want the other one to get bored. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to give more attention to the girl that you're more interested in, but make sure that the other one is happy and likes you, but that she also knows that that's the one that you like. So what do you chicas like to do in your spare time? How are you? <laughs> Anya? I like to dance. You're a dance? Oh, don't say that about yourself. Mm. What did you say? I like to dance. Ah, dancing, yeah, yeah. nice. Okay, what <laughs> yeah. else? And um, I go to the gym a lot. All right, cool. And how about you? Oh, I have so many interests. So, I watch movies, I'm crazy about TV shows. I'm like yeah. a freak, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Funny, mm -hmm. yeah. And I also like, love playing with my dog. But that's interesting actually because I was reading uh, this thing like a what was it in journal of psychology or something and okay. it said that um, people with pets and especially dogs and is it a boy or a girl? Or a, dog? a boy. Ah perfect. It said that um, people with opposite sex pets who uh -huh. really like them and you said you did um, it means they're really caring people in general in life. So. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting Maybe. actually. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's the kind of idea that, you know, you meet someone and then if you find out they really like animals, they have a pet, yeah. it means they're, you know, you can trust them and they're probably huh. a good person. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. hey? Yeah. And is it true about her? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whether you love animals or not, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that she does, right? So it's something that you shouldn't turn into a joke, be rude about or, you know, contradict. Why not say something positive about it? And there's an example that you can use all the time because a lot of girls love dogs or cats. Listen, can you tell her to just stop talking so much? She's just talking all the time. Is she always like that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She doesn't really say yeah. much. Yeah. Huh? But she's Hi. sweet. She seems very sweet. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, girls, I've got a great question. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Oh, that's that's like a boring interview question. Uh, like a job interview, right? Yeah, I feel like yeah. I'm in a job interview, yeah, they not in a bar. That. They normally ask that. Okay, I've got a much better question. Uh, let me think. Where do you see yourself in seven years? Do you think that's Genius. the right place in time? Talk about this, like the future or something? I guess not. Unless yeah. you want a job. You want a job with me? No. Okay. Um, typical interview question, but as you see in an interaction with pretty girls, it doesn't go. But you girls are in pretty good shape, so I think you must do more than jogging. You do some sports. Well, sometimes I play squash, but cool. not as often as I maybe wish. <laughs> okay, I play a little bit as well. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. What else? Anything else? Uh, I used to play basketball when I was in college, yeah. but yeah, it was a long time ago. And <laughs> hmm, that's cool as well. Yeah. You watch the NBA anymore. or you don't watch it? Uh, I used to, yeah. I was crazy about it, but yeah, I have my job now and I don't have plenty of time, so... Mm -hmm. I don't watch it anymore All that right. often. Yeah. Because do you like psychology tests? Mm -hmm. Things um, like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we can try. Well, who yeah. doesn't? Come on. I don't know. It's interesting. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Have you done this one called Strawberry Field psychology test? No. Okay, Have try no. try this right now with me, both of you, okay? okay? So maybe close your eyes, it will help. So close your eyes and you imagine you're walking in some beautiful place and then up ahead you see a field of strawberries. And tell me, um, there's a fence around it. How high is the fence? Just show me with your hands how high it is. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Nice one. All right. That's enough. And then yeah, you can put your hand on. And then uh, the next thing. So you go in there and you want to eat some strawberries. How many strawberries do you eat? What's your answer? I will eat as many as I can. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, how about you? Me too. Loads of strawberries. Yeah, okay. Loads of strawberries. Ah, but then you've eaten all the strawberries. You're leaving, and then the farmer comes, mm-hmm. and he's like, "You ate all my strawberries." And then what do you say back to him? I would just say, "I'm sorry." <laughs> what would you say? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> okay. All right. You can open your eyes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you what it means, right?、Mm-hmm. It's very interesting. So the first one, how high the fence is, that's your barrier to sex. Yeah. Like how open you are, because strawberries represent passion and stuff、okay. for a woman. So yours was kind of here, so it's like medium. Yours was really high, like a huge fence. So it means you know you're quite difficult to have sex with, basically.、Mm. But anyway, you don't have to answer if that's true or not. But then the number of strawberries you eat is your sexual appetite. Okay. So some girls maybe they say, oh, I always have like half a strawberry. And then she's like a girl that doesn't like sex. And then go have a few strawberries. But you,、yeah. what did you say? You ate every strawberry in the world. Oh yeah, like、so. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wanted.、Yeah. And then the final thing is what you say after sex. So when the farmer catches you, so what do you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> you say I'm hungry. Yeah, you're hungry after sex, right? It's normal. Yes. Oh, oh, that's、perfect. so funny. I, I'm、me. sorry. <laughs> I think that was dead on. Psychological test win. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting. Now, if you can be bothered to learn this, it actually is another thing that works. Again, it's prepared,、um, so it's not ideal. We don't want you to just learn a bunch of stuff and and go out and repeat it. But if you do find yourself in a boring situation, you know, a date that's not going so well,、uh, talking to a girl and you think she's not that into you, why not have it ready? You know, it's quite interesting, and you can always just say it's a psychology test that you、um, saw online, right? So what do you guys do? What about you, Anya? I have a fashion store. Oh yes,、yeah, selling clothes. Yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't work at the moment. Unemployed. Yeah. Yeah. Why, Anya? Why don't you just hire her? She can work for you. Like, can you sew and do all this stuff, like in the Nike sweatshop? <laughs> no, no, I'm not good at it.、Nah. I don't think so. About selling stuff, cleaning well, the shop. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, hire your friends. Come on, you've got to help her out. <laughs> no. Why not? No, she's useless. She's useless. <laughs> no, she's not for sure. This Aww, kind of work. Oh, oh, that's、you. sweet. Okay, I was only joking. <laughs> It's actually quite a big deal for her to have this going on in her life. So to make it that silly, it's maybe not the the best thing to do. Wouldn't get you blown out, but it's not the it's not the best option here. You could have done better. You girls seem really nice, but do you have any bad habits? No. Drug abuse. No. no. Cigarettes. No. Ah, alcohol. Got that's, you. That's, that's not a bad habit. Cheers. No. no cheers. Your liver's very happy with that. That's、so. all right. So Anya, I, I don't know why, but I trust you. You seem very honest. So tell me, is she a good girl? Yes,、yeah, she's a nice girl and very intelligent. Ah. Oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> she's nice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she's a good, good friend. friend. Right. Instead of directly saying, you know, I like you, a nice way to do it is to bring the friend in and ask questions about the girl you like. I've seen this work all over the world, and it's the right choice. Well, that's good that you were honest and told me that. Ah, actually, I'm honest. Yeah.、Um, I want to tell you,、uh, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Why are you talking to me then? Why not? I don't know. He's at home, and you're like talking to some guy in a bar. Yeah, but I'm not the only one sitting here. She is free. Yeah, but I like you. But she's nice. Yeah, she's nice. Okay. Not the best course of action here. There is a better way to do it. You know, if she has、um, a boyfriend, you have the choice of either leaving immediately. But why not find out a bit more? Maybe you can be friends. Maybe you can move on to the other girl. There's always something you can do. And challenging her in this way, not the best thing. Well, look, I don't want to disrespect your your dude. So,、uh-huh. would you mind us talking? No. Like if he was watching us right now, and we were like, he would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. If we took selfie and he saw it, be okay.、Mm, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's kind of chilled. Yeah. 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 Nice. That's good, right? Yeah. Not too jealous.、Mm-hmm. This works psychologically because you're taking away her independence. You're saying, well, would you? Would he allow you? To talk to me, like, are you allowed to do that? So she's gonna want to say, "Of course, I'm allowed. I do what I like, and you know, our relationship's fine. We don't, you know, I'm I'm allowed to talk to other men." She's not gonna want to say, "Actually, I'm not allowed, and you know, I shouldn't do it because he controls me and tells me exactly what to do." So it's the right option. Did you make any plans for later? You're gonna go、no. carry on the night. No plans. Yeah. How about tomorrow? You don't need to wake up because you're. Un- I mean, you're not working at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. do you need to open your shop early in the morning? Or yeah, you- yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I I don't really need to do anything, so I can stay out sleeping. Yeah, you can. We need to get catch up <laughs> some beauty sleep. Hmm. I don't need it. Exactly. This is an important step. You're finding out important logistics that will tell you how easy it is going to be later in the evening to、uh, take one or both of the girls and do something with them. Listen, look. I, to be honest, I think you're really great girls.、Thanks. You seem like really good girls, and you're nice to talk to and stuff. So we should definitely do something sometime. We could play squash all together. Oh yeah. We could go to a fashion show or something because you know that'd be fun. Oh yeah. So, okay. So why don't you you give me your number and、okay. then we can arrange something like to meet all together. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe watch movie or something. Yeah, movies are good.、Oh, here we go. Now, if there are a couple of girls, why not take their number and suggest just meeting up again? Why do you have to be so fast and choose which one you want, or you know, try to get that one on a date? They're together right there. Maybe you suggest that you could, you guys can all go hang out again. Maybe you're going to bring your friend, and you can take it a little bit slower. Bring these girls into your social circle, and in the end, it probably would work out better in a lot of cases. Okay, well, it was great speaking to you. I'll, I'll leave you、yeah. guys to it. Okay. Have a nice time for the rest of the night. Yeah. Have a good night. See ya. Yeah. yeah, he seems a real nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should go out. Yeah, one day. Yeah, cool.